One of the biggest words used most often has been the whole QE tapering bit. Mm. Uh, as someone who also sees global markets and has seen them so closely, sir, there's been a lot of misinterpretation. One side would say, others would say there is a genuine concern uh, on economies like ours or on markets like ours if that were to happen and when that were to happen. How, how would you assess the implications of the QE tapering First of all, by when do you think it is likely to happen? I'm not asking for a prediction. But uh, secondly, the implications of that. Are we overdoing it? Are we over worried about it? How would you uh, assess the whole situation? Well, we have to be over worried about it today than we were worried, let's say, five or ten years ago because we are much more interlinked with the rest of the world. Um, at the same time, we are not as exposed to international uh, competition as, let's say, China, uh, a typical uh, example that is given, or Brazil. Even though Brazil is quite a closed economy relative to China. Uh, so we are kind of a little bit nestled in, in uh, comfort uh, as far as that is concerned. Nevertheless, um, it is true that uh, quantitative easing um, you know, is going to impact on us. And from the U.S. point of view or any developed country point of view, uh, I suppose as a fiscal conservative, I've always said that uh, quantitative easing cannot uh, go on. And therefore, in a way, I'm a little uh, uh, kind of, I appreciate U.K.'s policy of containment that they have kept up um, through this entire period in containing their fiscal deficit and so on. U.S. is slightly different because even the announcement can really throw out ripples. Just like an announcement of uh, uh, increased commodity imports by us affects global commodity markets. So the US, it's, it's really sensitive what it does. And I think from US domestic policies point of view, they have to do some quantitative, uh, quantitative easing control and correction eventually, uh, because they cannot always look at what is happening in the rest of the world and what the impact will be. But at the same time, they have to be very, very careful before announcements are made and, and uh, so that the rest of the world can also get prepared for the impact. But ultimately, I think it is the responsibility and the burden has to fall on respective countries and trade partners of the US and to really see how they will contain their policies and, and nevertheless get economic growth and, uh, through investment and so on and so forth. So I think that um, uh, we will be impacted uh, and we continue to be impacted of, of uh, uh, QE tightening. But on the other hand, we have to expect it. It's, it's something that eventually has to come in, in the U, uh, uh, US. For example, if the, uh, if the housing and construction uh, sectors uh, take off and they feel that now they can uh, control uh, their economy through quantitative easing restrictions, then I think that uh, that will happen eventually. Now, the housing markets have not come up so they also need to keep the ease uh, going on. Um, but once that is uh, controlled, I think that, um, uh, I mean, once the housing, especially the construction sector, uh, takes off, I think that uh, the, uh, the rest of the world should be prepared for some tightening on their side.